Hollywood is a place that invites you to slow down, enjoy the mountains and the Appalachian culture. I'd encourage you as you stroll through Craftsman's Valley to slow down and check out the wood carving shop. There's a hidden Easter egg. I want you to look for a mouse named Mary Ann. When I first started here like four years ago, Marianne was already in the shop. Billy Orr is one of Dollywood's master craftsmen. He spends his days carving works of art in Valley Wood Carvers. Still think about her a lot and talk about her a lot. When one of his favorite co-workers at the wood carving shop lost her battle with cancer. She was a wonderful, sweet little old lady and she was like kind of my mentor, took me under her wing and just was really nice to me. We got along, we're really good friends. Billy found a way for Mary Ann to still greet him when he comes to work every day. But this Mary Ann has whiskers and a tail. I just whittled it out and glued it in the hole. You see, for years, the real Mary Ann had said that their shop needed a mouse. There was a, like, already a little hole in there, maybe from wiring or something, and she thought it looked like a mouse hole. Billy agreed, but it was never a priority until Mary Ann's sickness forced her into retirement and then hospice. She had cancer when I got here and she was, you know, really strong and it, she didn't complain about it or nothing, but she was really weak and some days she couldn't make it through really all that good. I decided to carve that mouse, send her a picture, and I carved the mouse, put it in the hole and send her a picture of it. And I stained it and I put little beads in the eyes so it kind of catches the light. It came out really good and she was really happy to see it. As a grandmother, Billy says that Marianne especially loved hearing that children are usually the ones to notice the resident rodent. The kids love it and a lot of little toddlers think it's real. They give it little wood shavings to feed as cheese. Billy decided the mouse's name should obviously be Mary Ann. I'd say it's the most insignificant little carving in here, but it's my favorite one. Our hosts give our park a lot of personality. I hope on your next visit, you're able to interact with several of our hosts. Thanks for watching this behind the scenes look.